e-commerce wholesalers are too many for your fashion startup. Hey, I'm Shama Maher, CEO of Scaling Retail. And guys, we all want distribution and we all know that e-com is where you get lots of distribution. There are thousands of online retailers that are waiting to sell your product. However, how many is too many? So here are a few things to keep in mind. Number one, the biggest retailers are going to maximize SEO, search engine optimization, and search engine marketing for your brand. So if you guys find yourself selling on platforms like matchesfashion.com or net chances are they're going to be dominating the search engines for when you type in your brand name. Going after other companies like ShopUp or Intermix or smaller online e-coms, they're not necessarily going to be driving so many dollars towards online advertising. So when you think about the opportunity here, the way that I would mix up your distribution would be as follows. Definitely go after a few key e-com big guys. These are the ones that are gonna help drive a lot of dollars towards getting traffic, sales, and maximizing your online presence. Don't worry. I know you have an e-com site yourself. And by having your products on a larger site, you actually then make yourself a lot more eligible for doing your own search engine marketing for your company. Imagine this, you type in the company name, all of a sudden you see your site at the top, and then you see net a -Porte and matches underneath. Well, chances are, guys, your fans and followers are gonna wanna shop from you and not just your competitors or rather the other places that are selling your stuff. However, you do wanna make sure that you don't have so many of the big guys that are selling your stuff and you wanna make sure you're not on every single e-commerce platform. Why is that? Well, all of a sudden you're too many different factors and it becomes very difficult to control the distribution. You don't know who's off selling that merchandise at the end of the season to an off fifth, meaning like the Saks Fifth Avenue off price, you don't know who's liquidating and selling it, let's say, to Amazon liquidators or other kinds of liquidators online. The last thing that you want is your brand to be diluted and sold on guilt without you knowing about it. And guys, once you sell those goods to those retailers, they can do whatever they want with it. Remember, they own it, not you. So it's important to be, I would say, on a few key online department store platforms and then have about five to 10 different smaller retailers online that you think are doing good business and that are maybe even just great for brand positioning. Remember, it doesn't have to be a, a large account in order for it to be good for business. Simply being sold at some of these point of sales are really just great even for marketing and for brand recognition. So make sure you've got a good mix of both the big names that are gonna get you volume and then also some of the smaller, more niche names that are gonna get you some prestige, right? Prestige is very important. Have fun, guys. Ecom is a wild, wild west. Don't get caught up in the internet graveyard and make sure that you have the best ecom platform for your business. How do you make sure you have that? Well, send us an email at hello at scalingretail.com. We'd be happy to jump on the phone with you and see how we can optimize your current e-commerce presence and take a look at your sales distribution. We've got to make sure you're in the right stores at the right time with the right product. Please leave comments below and head on over to Scaling Retail on Instagram where you can find us live, check out new and interesting content daily, and simply get inspired. Talk to you soon. Bye.